Contestant number one, Mark Kilroy, My Adventures with a Monkey. My Adventures <laughs> with a Monkey, Mark Kilroy. A long time ago, I owned a dog, and my dog died. And I was very upset and sad and lonely. So I went to a pet store. I opened the door. And a remarkable odor went over me that I still remember today. As I walk through the pet store, I see all kinds of different animals. I see puppies and kittens. I see lizards and tropical fish of all kinds of colors. And I see parakeets over here. I come to the end of the, end of the store, and I see this huge cage full of monkeys. I'm like, oh. A lot of interesting monkeys. And all of a sudden I hear, hey, get me out of this cage. And I look over to the parrots. What'd you say, parrot? <laughs> no, down here. What? I look down and I see this monkey. I say, is that monkey just talking to me? <laughs> yes, get me out of this cage. <laughs> I'm like, you're such a cute little monkey. <laughs> no, I'm not that kind of monkey. I'm not curious, George. <laughs> <laughs> like, wow, you got some attitude on you. <laughs> you need to get me out of this cage so we can save the world from a dinosaur apocalypse. A dinosaur apocalypse? Yes, get me out of this cage. So I bought the monkey. We go to my car. I say, all right, tell me a little bit more about this dinosaur apocalypse. You have to take me to dinosaur world and get the dinosaurs. So I bring, we go to dinosaur world. <laughs> We go up and they say, well, it's going to be 50 for you and 75 for the monkey. I was like, what? <laughs> to pay it? <laughs> <laughs> so we go inside and look around. I see all these fake dinosaurs and all these rides. Like, well, these aren't real dinosaurs. Just follow me to the back of the park. And we go to the back of the park. And I'm walking. And all of a sudden, I hit an invisible wall. I'm like, Monkey, I can't go any further. He goes, that's an invisible wall. I'm going to use my pass key and bring us in. And we go in past the invisible wall. And what I see when I go past the invisible wall is a great big field of different vegetations and animals I've never seen before. And off to the left, in these big fields full of vegetation, I see these dinosaurs roaming. Eee! And they're roaming across the field. And I'm like, wow, these are real dinosaurs. I told you, those are real dinosaurs. <laughs> Quick, we have to find a hole in the invisible fence. And I'm like, the hole in the visible fence? How are we going to see the hole in the invisible fence, monkey? <laughs> Here, put these glasses on. I put these glasses on. And all of a sudden, I can see the invisible wall going around the perimeter. I'm like, wow. It's really true. And so we start walking around the perimeter. And all of a sudden, we come along this big brown wall. And I start climbing it. And the monkey's over there. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing at, monkey? That's not a wall. That's dino poop. <laughs> <laughs> so we go around the dino poop. We continue along the wall. And all of a sudden, we see the gap in the wall. And the monkey says, watch this. You haven't seen anything yet. And he takes, and he goes like this, and he goes, his magical powers with his hands, and he goes, Bing! and he fixes the wall. And I'm like, wow, that's great. Now what, monkey? Now it is time to go back to my home planet. My home planet? Yes, it's called Monkeyville. <laughs> it's millions of light years from here. And all of a sudden, he signaled his uh, spaceship. And a beam of light took him back up to his spaceship. And he went in his spaceship back to Monkeyville. <laughs> <laughs>